Good morning, it's Tuesday. I hope everyone is well. So it's Happiness Tuesday Part 3, or maybe it's Part 4, I don't remember. Sitting in the boot of my car this morning, it's early, my house is all asleep, but the street is cold. So I thought I'd give sitting in the boot of the car somewhere that I've never honestly tried to sit before. Maybe this will be the way I will find happiness, trying something different. So it's not really working for me, so let's try and go back to some of the thoughts we've been sharing the last few weeks. I left you last week with the idea that happiness can be achieved by trying to count the blessings in our lives. So I asked you to make a list, a happiness list. And it could be that if someone did this happiness list and wrote down the things that are good about a person's life, then just the act of making that list will make you happy because you've suddenly realized, wow, all these things that I never really considered to be part of my life are actually integral to my experiences. And it's okay. Yes, I have a mixture of things that frustrate me and annoy me and irritate me and cause me pain and suffering, but there's a heck of a lot of things that make my life good. I just never thought about them before. When I begin to think about those things, then that in, that in itself makes me happy before even I learn to appreciate those individual things in and of themselves. So once you've done that, if you realize that you've, you've written your list and now you've got ideas that make you happy, look at them carefully and you realize that it's, it comes back to what we started with the very first week. Happiness is really the absence of pain or the absence of a need. And if I appreciate that I've got my basic fundamental comforts in life, then like a baby who, if the baby is fed and the baby doesn't feel scared and the baby is clean, then the baby will sit in the default position of a human being and just be satisfied with life. But the moment the baby needs changing, for example, the nappy's dirty or and the baby's uncomfortable. So the baby begins to cry and begins to make that sound that sounds like suffering. But really, that's not suffering. It's just the body's clever system of saying, you need to interrupt your life now to look after me because if you don't, then I'm going to then develop problems and turn it turn into a rash and then that's going to cause me greater suffering so sometimes there's moments of discomfort are not really something to run away from they're an early warning system that guides us to make changes in our life that then remind us to do something that will prevent serious or further discomfort that's number one look at that list make that list work it through and you'll realize that actually there are plenty of things that make your life happy and generally they are the smaller tiny little details in everyone's life that really if we focused on those we would actually focus on the birds tweeting outside it's a calm morning but if we focused on the calmness of the street before everyone gets out of their beds to start getting on with their day that can make you calm it's the small little details that have an impact in our lives we just don't see them because we're waiting for something huge something we can buy something outside of us and that's how we're often taught and that's the world of advertising if you just had the right shoes the right hairstyle the right everything then if you just buy enough things then our lives are happy the problem is the more things we buy the more things we want and then we never really find that happiness despite being told thousands of times in our lifetimes that so many items will just make us happy so where does pain come from? If it's so simple, if it's so easy just to find that peace, and if everyone can just do it by counting their small blessings, then why is it so difficult to find comfort? And the truth is that it's not, but the problem we have is that we allow our brains to get in the way. So listen to the simple test. It's called the blank brain test. It's very simple. Try work this one with me this morning. Recall a time when you felt unhappy. For example, I was unhappy when a friend was rude to me or someone said something not nice or I got something wrong or I did something foolish. Take your time and dwell on that thought. I'm asking you now to be unhappy. Work it through. Work that pain through. Bring that pain back into your life just for a moment and build that feeling of how unhappy you are and how much humiliation and discomfort and suffering you went through. Let it linger in the same way we often do when we let thoughts ruin our day. Because if you went back to your happiness list and compared your list to the bit of unhappiness, we're probably on the side of happy if we just could focus on that more than the pain. So take a moment to find such a thought. I'm sorry I'm asking you to do something that's not very nice, but just give it a go. Without changing anything about you, just remove the thought, even for just an instant. So how do you get that thought out of your mind? Well, just think about something else for the briefest of time. Think about 
what drink you would buy if you went into a shop or what chocolate bar you want, you'd want if someone came around selling right now and you could buy whatever food you wanted. In that moment, in that briefest of pauses between my day sucks, my day is rubbish, I'm in so much pain, I hate that person, they're ruining my life, and thinking about the thing you want, you've just removed that thought from your head. So how did you do that? For that brief moment, you stop thinking about your friend's rude behavior. Were you upset? No. Nothing changed. The upset was still there, but your thoughts changed. Your friend was still rude, but you didn't feel as bad anymore. Once the thought goes, the suffering disappears. When a rude person offends you, he can't really make you unhappy unless you turn the event into a thought. Then allow it to linger and then allow it to distress you. So the lesson for today, it's the thought, not the actual event that's making you unhappy. If we stop thinking about what makes me unhappy, just for, even for a few moments a day, then we stop feeling unhappy. So don't allow other people's behavior, other people's nasty comments, don't allow circumstances to define everything about your life. Fill your heads with other thoughts. Fill your heads with positive thoughts. Thoughts where you can be proactive and make a difference and be kind and loving to the people around you. Thoughts that you can appreciate that happiness list that you have that's personal to you. And if we succeed in doing that, then maybe we can get out the boot and get into the front seat of our lives and make a difference. Have a nice day.